Welcome back everybody, I am JustZack and it is my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day. Today we're gonna have a look at Arch Tower, a mix between action RPG and roguelite where we dungeon crawl up, most likely up, judging from this main menu, a tower. This game is currently available in early access, came out roughly a year ago and as you can see we're gonna check out the demo right now. So before we jump in, as always, let's have a quick look into the second things menu. Also you can play this game with a controller. Um, I'm actually doing that right now, I'm not sure how to feel uh, about things like these because as you can see I have to move the mouse cursor with the controller, which I mean it works. And I used to play Command and Conquer on the PlayStation 1 back in the day, so it's not that. But I might switch to mouse and keyboard in a second. Anyway, there's a bunch of options. I do enjoy that you can turn off the head bopping, which I did. And as far as I know, you can play this game in first person, but also third person. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of accessibility options. One fun thing, uh, f uh, sorry, one fun thing, so. Um, so, if you go to audio and video here right now, I'm actually switching to mouse and keyboard right now. You click it, you have the volume slider. It's actually a little bit unfortunate that there's only a single one. There's two things. First off, if I hold the button right here in the middle, you might hear this a little bit that it makes this which is a little bit unfortunate. Nothing too groundbreaking, but certainly noticeable. And the fun thing is, if you actually try to access this menu with your um, well, mouse cursor, but when you actually play with the controller, uh, it immediately changes the settings. Look at this, we had, uh, we were at 50% before. Now I click here on the right side of audio and video, it's 42%. I'll go back again, keep in mind it's 42. Now I access the same menu here by clicking the button here on the left side and, oh, okay, we have to be a little bit more on the bar. Uh, typical, you want to showcase something? There we go. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, okay, I actually have to be like, here. Yeah, there we go, 10%. So it kind of overlaps and you can adjust it pretty much immediately, which I found funny. So let's try to see if I can back to 50%. A bunch of ang uh, language interface options as well, which are always nice to see. Uh, as far as I can s tell, there's no way to adjust the resolution of the screen which is a little bit sad, or oh, I might have missed this right there. Also extra options, FOV and so on, but overall a bunch of accessibility options which are nice to see. But now, without further ado, well, before I actually jump into the game, let's look at the intro. Since ancient times, the Great Tower rises above these lands. For many years, brave adventurers dared to enter its endless halls. They left their lives there. All because of deadly traps and mysterious, eerie inhabitants of the tower. Euro survivors advise staying away from this place when they drink in taverns and tell their tales. Generations of brave men and women of our clan went to seek out wealth and fame in the tower. Now it's your turn. Fedot Mantukar! Totally pronounced that name right. Okay, um, okay, it's actually my controller freaking out, uh, so... LMB, RB, I feel like we want to play with mouse and controller rather, right? So let's let's actually turn off the controller. I hope the sound isn't too loud. There we go. Sorry for that. Okay. Gamepad is disconnected. We can switch on the fly. It was nice. Oh, we can't turn back and go back here. There's immediately invisible uh, wall. Ah, dang it. Couldn't you just have a little bit of a roadblock? My immersion! Anyway, I guess I'm gonna talk to you. Talk to me, press E. I can do this. Oh, wow. Well, this is surprisingly small. But I guess you can adjust the UI in the main menu. Okay, this is Alex. Those warm healer's dogs attacked us. Okay, uh, next. This tiny button here. They don't want us to get near the tower. Punctuation is missing there. You are the best of our fighters. Teach those fools. Oh, Ferret, I don't feel so good. Oh, why are you bleeding? Oh, and you and you died. Did you just call dogs fools? And apparently I'm the best fighter. Okay, left click. It's, oh, we have a charge on the normal slash already. Okay, right mouse button is currently at least a bump here. Q is a big dash. Wow, cool. F would be healing potion. And we, okay, we have our bu most stats in the bottom left. We also have some gold. Nice. Okay, C. Oh, I switched between loadouts, apparently. Look at him actually changing where the sword is. Kind of cool. Okay, tap. Oh, this is... If I would like to go with, like, first-person mode. For now, let's go with third-person. Also, okay, this is in the minimap. I'm just pressing all the button right now to get 
familiar with the game. And we have skills, which we can upgrade with crystals later on. As far as I know, we're gonna do that soon-ish. You for skills. Huh, not that common to use that button. I for inventory, though, that's nice to see. So we are currently a fighter. And we also have the quest log, fair enough. Oh, okay, dashed immediately. A page up, page down, GUI scale. Uh, all right, that's, that's, okay, I mean, it works. I've never seen that in a tutorial at all in my whole life. This is, I mean, at least this text rotates with you. Oh, there's a bat! Ha! Huh, got you. Oh, man, we dice the bat. Tap switch camera mode, I learned that. Okay, you came from this corner, but according to the minimap, there's not much. Oh, we can actually see a healing potion there. I want that. How do I get there? Oh, there's another bat. Oh, okay. We only see a little bit on the map there. I mean, I wouldn't really call this a map if I'm honest. This is a mini map. Like, it's just it's just very small, right? Okay. Get this bat. F, drink medicine. It's not even a healing potion. Just some medicine. I mean, we took three damage, but I feel like we can probably take a bit more. There's a half-naked guy in the forest. Why am I not surprised? Hello? Oh, you're running away? Are you- Who? Oh! oh, it's not. I think you have like a kimono or something. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> well, at least you did actually wear clothes, so that's nice to see. Okay, you are dead. Took one damage for that. Can we stand? Oh, we actually burn. Nice. This is something you have to test in any RPG game ever, or like pretty much every game that has bonfires. Can you stand in it and what happens then? Let's actually drink the healing potion. Okay, heals quite a bit. Oh, space jump. I mean, I don't know what I expected there. All right, let's dash. Oh, hello. Okay, oh man, you really gotta be, there we go. Okay, enemies are surprisingly fast. You gotta be careful. Use your primary skill, which is the dash right now. Oh, okay. Hey, look. Guy, guys, it's Skyrim, where you have to the, to use this dash. Can't we just... I mean, I feel like I could just walk around here. Just saying, like, here, yeah, I would totally fit through that. Oh, we can even jump. I could also just, you know, guys, jump on this and walk through here. I mean, well, I'm just saying. Okay, let's... Boom, there we go. More bandits, I suppose. Man, you have more health. <gasps> okay, got you. Wait for the cooldown. We have like a dash on shift, we don't. Punch. Oh no. Screw that up. Oh, there we go. Alright, I open inventory, you inspect skills. Okay, we're on this healing potion. Nice. And press E to pick up a better blade. Level 2, 5 U, 5 gold. Okay, now we have two We are the Witcher! Two swords, style. I forgot which button to press to switch to first person mode, by the way. Wanted to try that on. You actually can't use the mouse uh, wheel to scroll in, which. I mean, I kind of expect it. I'm so used to using that, but I guess this is different. Okay, let's go there. Oh, you parried? Not cool, dude. All right. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I mean, what would be cooler if I would do it? Oh, there we go. Can we actually do like a double slash if I press both buttons? No. Okay, it's always one. Swap weapons. I mean, it's more like the loadout, right? Hmm. Hello, sir. What if I just go here into the wild? I actually expected an invisible bearer, so nice that there is none. Why is there a torch? I mean, I get lighting up the front of the castle, but there's a bunch of trees in the way. Why would you put a torch in that place? I mean, clearly, someone who works in this castle has to go out, you know, in this rain, lighting up the torch. I mean, it's their job, it's fine. But then, you know, lighting up that torch here, you're kind of safe from the rain. This one, okay, you gotta move a bit, get a little bit wet. This one as well. And then you have to squeeze between these trees to light up this one single torch in the corner, which no one really needs, right? If they want to visit the castle, they do this. And it's not like this is the backyard or the way to the backyard or anything. So why would you have a torch there? What is wrong with this castle? Can't trust anyone here. I do like that there's a little pathway in here, so we don't need to go around. Haha, -ha, gentlemen, spare the rigor for the tower. Talk to him. And I just... Why would I not attack this one? These are the same guys as before. Alright, can I just attack you? No. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you. A strange person. I'm Lagan, a tower attendant, and I welcome both of your clans. Can you go to the top and slay the dragon? You may arrange your camps here. And if you have coins to spend, talk to me. It has begun. Oh yeah, now that I think about this, didn't our friend from the beginning tell us that we were supposed to slay the foolish dogs or something? 
I guess he was referring to these bandits? And that's a different clan? That is actually not quite clear to me. Anyway, let's play the game. Newcomers. Okay, we can choose new characters. There's gonna be fighters. Oh, and they have different, like, attributes and different... Ooh, tricks and skills on. For example, this is a fighter level 1 who has more dexterity, less intelligence compared to the other one who has more strength and less dexterity. Yeah. And this one is open-minded. More XP, less resistant mind. Okay. Also, Wastrel spares new consumables. Interesting. And this is Gary. He also spares new consumables. And he's colorblind. Insensible to colors. Oh, it's one of those games. So we would actually play the whole game in like probably like a grayish tone or so. Interesting. Also, this one has the... Oh, both have the rage skill. So I guess those are... No, they are not class um, dependent because this is a poisoner. Arch archetype Trickster, and this is an Archetype Ranger, Vagabond, also has the tricks. Okay, also he, he has a Thanatophobia, Fear of Death hinders Survival. Interesting. Also, Picky Eater, I don't eat this and that. I mean, that kind of sounds like me in my childhood. Ah, Poisoner would be interesting. Do we want to go with Poisoner? But I would guess Poisoner needs more intelligence, maybe? And definitely not Strength, so let's use a Ranger. Sure, let's switch it up. Two clans camp. Okay, so we just, after we fought each other, we're just like, yeah, all right, let's sleep together. I mean, technically now this other torch maybe makes a little bit more sense, but also we can't walk into the tent. Oh, we're burning! Okay, you regenerate your health in, <laughs> in the hub world though, so you can't die. <laughs> I was curious about that for a second, not gonna lie. Okay, can I just actually walk like the entire, oh. If we, okay, we just go back to the main menu. Also, oh, look at this at the bottom. We have a family clan level meter. At least no invisible... Oh, it, okay. Wow, it immediately brings us back. We can't really cross this line here at all. Good to know. All right, let me talk to you. Advisor. Greetings, uh, Ivan. Random advice. You can break barrels and pots by pressing use. It won't kick you out of relax state. There's relax state. Who are you? I'm just a humble advisor to Eurus from our clan. Like you. All right, you're waving. That's cool. Can't hit. Don't know what my skill does. Can I look this up here? We have throwing rock. Man, the text really is small. Throws a rock from the ground. Headshots. What? There's someone there just entered. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna move right. Yeah, they're gonna die anyway. It's fine. Let them have their head start. Throws a rock from the ground. Headshots deal more damage to targets, but body shots do much less. And you're calling me an archer by my abilities to throw rocks? Doesn't feel very heroic, frankly. Way of the Vagabond, passive. Sticks maximum damage plus 10%. Mastery, simple weapon, clothes, light armor, and lockpicks. Interesting. Primary text, so this this is a stick, a stick I suppose. And we deal more damage with sticks. 10%. I mean, it doesn't really matter much right now when we only deal 1 to 4 damage, but maybe later. So we have a second page for skills. Oh, these are the traits, like Picky Eater. Sediation plus 50%, HP minus 5%. Eats only fruits and vegetables. That depends on archetype. Fair enough, no perks yet. Let me talk to you one more time. Quests, yeah. Looking for quests? I mean, for steps? First steps. Most importantly, buy the first tower upgrade from Attendant Lagan. He stands next to the entrance to the tower. Without these upgrades, it'll be hard. Okay, the first tower upgrade. I guess I'm gonna talk to you then. So you have upgrades. Oh, these are so far not that many, but I mean, we just start and end the demo, of course. Okay, so the first one is Legacy Loot 1. You can pick up loot dropped after defeat. Legacy Loot stays in place till your next character dies or you quit the game. Okay, classic souls like a little bit. So otherwise we would lose our loot permanently and so we have at least a second chance. We still have 74 gold. Med pots one. New adventure starts with two medicine pots. Cost 50 gold? What a rub of cure one. Medicine also removes burn, poison, and toxin effects. Decent. Explorer's rush. While in the tower, plus 20 weight capacity and plus 10% co collect coins radius. Get rid of stuff with two potions then. Let's get this. How do I get out of this menu, by the way? Escape? Escape. Okay. There was no back button here whatsoever, right? Right? Ah, oh, right click works though. Okay, fair enough. Okay, there's more people. Can I access this? Oh, I can. So this is my stash. Also, we have a manual. 
Oh, activate read. Can I read it here? Apparently not. Right click to bring it over. Right click now. Oh. Look at this. We have a whole menu. Oh, well, it's just... Oh, okay. That's, that's a lot. Okay, this feels very old school in a cool way. <laughs> not gonna read it though, but I do appreciate it. If you're kind of stuck, you can always go back for this. Okay, what can you tell me? What are you buying? What are you selling? Looking for a quest. Everything will be due for something. Everything will do. Uh, Ivan, let's find useful um, something useful in this town. Break bra belts till you get five useful racks. Okay. I mean, the dialogue and the text uh, quests so far are like just like let's just say very very basic. Not really any atmosphere with the writing or anything, and it's just okay. Destroy barrels, get racks. I mean, you could have at least given me a little bit of like we are here as a clan. Give me hook me in into your world. Tell me a little bit more. I want to engage, but don't allow me to, which feels a little bit off. Anyway, what about you? Skill master, skill upgrades. All right, I guess. Okay, wait. Uh, if you have any, okay, fair enough. And you greetings, the librarian. Uh, he's just like, okay, I don't even tell you what to do. Oh, why do you? Quest, let's go. Looking for quest, yeah. Well, did you do what I... Yeah, why do I need to click for this again? I mean, he's standing like five feet over there. This feels like a... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't want to do... You sound too harsh, but this feels like the most basic, boring MMO, which you, you know, when you were like 15, 16, you found it in the internet and you kind of just gave, only gave it a try because... Um, you know, uh, big titty girls and it was free or something like that and then you played it for like one, two hours and had a exactly quests like these and then you just deinstalled it and never looked back at it again. But the installation itself, you know, because internet wasn't that good, took like half a day or so and... Oh man, not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. Also advise you to see the merchant. Uh, okay. But I, I, I just did. Right? Talk to these guys. And he's just like, have a quest. Oh, wait, trade. Maybe I missed that. Okay, you have more sticks and rusty diggers. Wow. I mean, we just started, right? It's fun. We're fi gonna find better stuff in the dungeon. I finally wanna go. Let's go. Dungeon time. Choose a floor. I mean, uh, difficulty story and ballad. Strong enemies for experience one. Easy traps, experience for enemies. Okay, bunch of modifications. Cool. Let's go with the story one, though. That seems to be the recommended one. Okay, I have this. I have this. And so we don't have the dash. Oh, the stone actually just stays there. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's a skeleton. Do I need to pick up the stone? No. Okay. Well, there's a barrel. Press E to pick up quite useful racks. Well, that's nice. Oh, we were told that we can also... Can I break the stool? I can't. Can I break this? No. Can I interact with this? No. That we can break barrels by interacting with them, right? Um, oh, there's a rat! Oh, God! Have a stone! Oh, man, I just murdered a rat with a stone. It's pretty bloody. It's kind of bad, man. Oh, you can... Yes, love this. Love this little detail that you can actually step on the box. Okay, so if I press E on you... Oh, that works. Another box here. Can I destroy those? No. So far it's just normal barrel. Man, look at... It's immediately dark over there. So I guess... It's, is that the rendering distance? Seems to be small. Dried roaches. I mean... Oh, oh, stone! <laughs> okay, start to like the stone. Not gonna lie here. Can I break this? No. Oh, gotta step on this. Okay, there's more spikes. Ho-cho! Did it. What's this? Is this a bear trap? Dang. Okay, more racks, some gold, some notes, but I can't read them. Okay, lock, lock, lock. Oh, you actually were up there. That's cool. Oh, stone. The stone is actually, guys, the stone is actually our best ability. I did, it did like a single point of damage from my stick. I guess the range was one to four though, right? So it could be better, but the stone is always three. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh, man, the enemies move so much, it's not that easy to... Hit with the stone. You really gotta be careful. Enemies are... F Can I please pick this up? There, thank you. Okay, that's one way. There's another roach. Oh, God, get scared for no reason there. Oh, God. It just takes this little second until loot spawns out of those. Is there like a hidden wall? No. Which... 
it just slows down the process just that little bit. Because you break the barrel and then like a second later the loot springs forth. And you're already moving on, so that's why I, that happened to me like two, three times already, right? Where I almost forgot to pick up the racks there because of that reason. Okay, nothing here. Stone power. That's a bunch of barrels. Let's just go. Dun, 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 dun. Press E like a madman. And no loot at all. Are you kidding me? I'm disappointed. Can I just throw the rock at this, for example? Nope. Okay. Well, we tried. Oh, God! I actually saw it and still ignored it. Well, I mean, I kind of saw, but I didn't notice, if that makes any sense. A red tail. Probably just... Yeah, junk. Dried roaches junk as well. These roaches dried up long ago. What a disgusting thing. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you gotta eat what you find on the tower, right? It's a dark place. I mean, I, I guess. We don't really know, right? We have a clan. And we had the tower. And do dark and ominous and everything, but we don't we don't really have... A, do we have... I mean, we're one of the re heroes who wants to explore this. I guess that's maybe reason enough. Blaster Cop Band. Uh, okay, found an Easter egg or something. Fair. Alright. More notes. Why do we have them if I can't read them? Better be on the first floor, right? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of notes. Dang it. Activate. Let's go. When you reach the first passage, do not rush to pull the chain on the wall and open the bars. There's usually a creepy fire cult standing there. It's very dangerous. I'm not even talking about the traps in that room. Be careful. Mom. I mean... I mean, he, there he is. Kind of cool, but... I mean, you kind of, frankly, just made this encounter less interesting by just telling me what was up ahead. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, you could have totally just not tell me and, you know, play the game and make the experience. <laughs> and I still run into the spikes. <laughs> Granted, I'm an idiot. Anyway, let's move on. Alright. Go plus four. Oh, more fire mages. And this is gonna be... Oh, headshot! Oh, headshot! Oh! Uh, got you. Punch, punch, there we go. Okay, that works. Ooh, getting a little bit moodier. How many? Oh! How did I not see you? Oh god, how did I not hit you? Okay, let's actually drink a potion. Gimme, gimme. Break this. Oh god. Oh, it's like I'm already moving because I think there's nothing in the barrel. There again. I mean, with the coins, it's fine because I think you pick them up anyway. Okay, that's a skeleton. Can't do anything with that. Ooh, treasure! Gimme. Okay, what is this? Precise helm. Yes, inventory. First loot here. Oh, was automatically equipped. Nice. Light helm level 2. Armor 1. Headshot resist 3.75%. Aiming plus 4%. Uh, no idea what aiming means. So we can get headshotted as well? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, wow. There we go. Got you. Okay, I think. No! Ah! Uh also, XP, 28.19%, 31.5%, uh, that also feels very MMO light, so to speak, that you have to get a, rid of a lot of easy mobs, so to speak. Oh, not this time. <laughs> I'm learning after like the fifth time to not walk into the spikes, yeah. Oh, oh god, I'm so bad with the rocks. Hello, Mr. Fire Mage. Can I free you? We haven't found like a single switch for those, right? Oh, I just didn't find them. Okay, gimme, 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 gimme. Huh. Every time there's a lot of those barrels, there's nothing in them. Oh! How? Let me that's so small. Guess I kind of feels like the game was originally designed for first person. Kind of have the feeling about that. Just from how much you can see, how small the enemies are and so on. And were they aiming as well, frankly? Tatters. No, it's, oh, hello, Mr. Mage. But the attacks from these mages, by the way, are very well telegraphed. The music is also solid. Gets the moods across. Oh, bunch of stuff. Damage town. And low quality ring. Well, we didn't equip the lesser helmet, which is fine. Low quality ring. N armor 0.50. 
What does that even mean? Energy reduction, physical reduction and energy reduction. So I guess energy is like magic armor and we, then we have physical armor. Is that what it's about? And this is maybe magic armor like a half a point. Okay, so it could matter, but most likely won't. Oh, great. Oh, God, fucking rats! There we go. I mean, I don't feel much like an archer so far. I mean, my only range attack is throwing a single rock. Okay, more traps, getting more and more interesting. I appreciate that. We have three out of three potions, by the way. Ugh. Oh, both side this time. No. Oh, God! How dare you! Missed with all my attacks here! Oh, great. God, I'm just mostly of this time, I just feel like the best way is to simply spam the button and hope you hit the things. Because enemies are so far uh, fast, so much is going on. Okay. Why would I ever close this, by the way? I mean, I, it's kind of cool that there's one of those on both sides, don't get me wrong. Okay, ripe apple. I mean, we're supposed to eat sometimes, right? Also, button left, I have this snore, I don't know, status symbol? Can I look this up somehow, what that even means? These things are all so small. I mean, I can make the UI bigger, but then it's... The UI is surprisingly big, but the text is still kind of mess, so... Not sure what to think about this. Mostly the text that I feel a little bit uncomfortable with. Monte Carlo, family clan level 1. Fame. So we gotta get fame to make our clan stronger. And then get probably stronger bus for the next run and stuff like that. Ripe apple. Healing 2 HP. Combat XP 15% for 5 minutes. Aha, so I could assign... Yet... Wait! I, I wanted to assign this, not throw it away. Sorry with my... Are you kidding me? I can't drag... Well, I can't drag and drop. But I can't drag and drop it to the bar. Are you kidding me? How? Assign, press the slot key. Okay, just hover over and press... Okay, that works too. But I would... M locked up. Oh yeah, we don't have any key or a lock pick, right? Well, that's set. Ow! And I'm burning. So I was too greedy there. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here, though. Oh, great. Okay, let's wait until we're done burning. Drink a healing potion. Let's pick this up. Okay, maybe I missed the key. Or maybe we were just unlucky with the... Oh, God! I'm a mighty archer, guys! Let me throw rocks at you. And... Hit you with my stick. I should probably just jump more against these guys. Man. There we go. D dusty candle. Alright. Is this something cool? Let's actually eat an apple as well. Technically more comet XP sounds nice. No, there. It's a common trinket. Interesting. Required level 1 trinkets. So I need to be able to equip trinkets. I need, need to have the skill trinkets level 1. Did I get that right? Looks like it. Because when we selected our... Ooh, now we have some pathways to go. Okay. Oh, great. One down. There we go. There we go. That works too. Anything else? Oh, man. Surprised by... Him. Oh, you almost... Oh, got hit by the trap. Upgrade away to the press U. Okay, level up. Cool. So we either can upgrade our skill or our class, so to speak, for one extra HP point. Also, TP regen is plus 100% in relax. Is this relax? I don't know what relax mode is. We read up on that earlier, but I don't know when we are in that mode. Bracing Brew. TP drink 4. Required level 3. What does that even mean? That our healing potion is stronger? That is not clear to me. Quick hand. Body shot plus 25%. What? Damage? Coolness? Awesomeness? This isn't clear either. But cooldown. Okay, is a little bit better. That sounds good. And headshot also do. plus 25%. I guess I'll take this then, make the stone better. Guys, throwing stones. Larry did the best and strongest it. I was. I guess I was on that. Oh man, I'm so bad at dodging those. Okay. Oh, a sling. Now we're talking. That's a little bit more like an archer then. Precise sling, sling. 
Okay, speed, dexterity, so I guess that's what it scales with. Fair enough. Level 2, good. Simple weapon, sling bullet, spin for power. Damage 0 to 2, aiming 4%. So we can swing it for the power and then go phew. That's a long cooldown. Well, better than punching stuff, I suppose. All right. Stick and stones, literally breaking bones with the sling. Oh, the flame keeper! Huh, drink a potion. Huh! Throw a rock! Oh, headshot! <laughs> Man, why did you ever learn the secret arts of fire magic when you can just, you know, throw a rock at people? Legit question here. Oh, drink a potion by accident. Pick. I uh, wanted to pick this up. A rushing raiment. Okay, got our first boss as well. Clothes. Why do you not automatically equip this? So we have Tetris. Maximum TP of one. I actually picked that up earlier. This is one armor, also one uh, TP and cast speed. I guess we don't cast as an archer. Oh, this actually changes our look a little bit. Love that. Didn't notice if it did before. I guess it did. Okay, floor two one. First floor done. Awesome. It's pretty dark here. Why can't I pick up any of these weapons? Oh. Can actually get a weapon from there. Never mind. I mean, I don't know why we wouldn't have picked up, you know, the spear or the axe or that sword or the dagger. But I guess, you know, we have at least a level two stick now. Start a stick, you know. I mean, apparently. I mean, this is zero to two, this is one to three. Was it at the beginning like one to four? Maybe because our strength stat is just so bad. Why do we actually get 10% more damage on sticks when our strength stat as a ranger is that bad anyway? I guess we just... How we rolled the character, so... I guess that makes sense. There's an empty bottle! Oh man, there's... Oh, where's my sling? Oh! Don't go, man! There we go, one down. Oh, headshot! Spin the sling! There we go, headshot as well. I mean, when you actually land a headshot, that is satisfying, not gonna lie. Alright, guys, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit until we have a second boss or something like that. See ya in a second. Oh, I just picked up a fire wave spell, which we can apparently use with a shift. I'm not sure if I have this anywhere in my inventory or in the stats. It's just we have it. Fire wave crystal. Sends a wave of fire on the ground. Burning enemies take energy damage over time. So shift. Okay, it takes some casting time. Oh, that's the guy, the spell from the Fire Mages. That's cool. Level up, level four. Also, a chest, poison spit. So, could I now change this ability somehow? It's another crystal, right? Poisonous spit. Spawns poisonous splashes, applies poison effect, deals part of the damage of active poison. Guess, did I throw it away again? Upgrade available, press U. There it is. We have one upgrade point. How do I equip this now? Right click, just to switch. There we go. Now we would have... Oh, let me just this tiny spit. I mean, it works. Kind of cool. I actually think I prefer the fire wave. Just how it works. There we go. You, another upgrade. Oh, we have to pick from here. Again, what is TP drink? TP plus one, TP to region 100% and relax. Is this relax when this pops up? I think this recharges if we are out of combat or something. Sure. I guess I'll just... Oh, that. No TP, something else. Then HP. Took me a while to figure that out. But what is TP then? For my magic stuff? Yeah, looks like it. So that took one HP. And throwing a rock also takes in TP. Okay. I didn't notice that at all. Oak knuckle. Ooh, damage one to three. Knuckle. Kind of cool. <laughs> Stick is still. I would guess has a better range, so better. The same damage. All right, let's try to find the second boss or so. Ooh, this is cool. This is in the next floor, and we have some dead goblins or whatever. And this dude, hello, sir, a gray-haired stranger. I beg your pardon, dear stranger. Could you do a little favor for a grieving father? Uh, sure, next. Man, I didn't actually hit the button. It's so small. My son died in this tower. Damn it, a thousand times. Green father? Well, okay. Would you help me get my son's belongings back? He died somewhere on this floor. But I cannot get further because of the goblins. They are way too fast for me. In the old days, I myself would have impaled those little stuffs on both daggers. But I'm too old for all this. 
If you agree, I will catch my breath a little bit and leave this cursed place. Let's meet near the entrance down there. I mean, you say you're too old, but I see at least three corpses here, dude. Seems like you're, like, depending on how you look at it, you might be doing better than me. Oh, I actually thought this thing would have gotten... Uh, look through! Okay, charge this up. You can kind of time the spells. I gotta admit, there's definitely... Got a bunch... A little bit of, like, timing skill is definitely evolved in a cool way so far. Just gotta be careful. Don't be too aggressive. Look at your environments. Always very important. Oh, these goblins are not cool, though. They keep getting me. I'm not gonna lie. Red Sasha is it beautiful. In this. Oh, hello, guys! Yeah, there we go. Gotta throw all the rocks. And all the fire magic. Oh, God. Got one of them. Did I actually get all of them? I think I did. Cheap ring. I mean, we have a bunch of stuff, guys. We really have a bunch of stuff. No quality rung. I guess this is better for the energy stuff, which might be good against the fire coming up here. What's what's the quest again? Standard MMO boring quest. Just go in, kill stuff, which we will probably come across without really paying attention to, right? I don't want to sound too mean, because so far I played this for uh, 45 minutes, and yeah, I'm engaged. Just the quest design, guys. Can't really excuse this. Okay. Definitely. Oh, come on. Uh, somehow did that. Multi hit. What is a multi hit? Rejected helm. We still have a, like a level two of this helmet. Is this better? No. Headshot resist. I mean, it has no. Multi hit. Power crystal orange. Good. Grand skill multi hit. Melee weapon. Attack several targets with a primary weapon swing. I guess I'd rather have them. Magic, hard to tell with our current character. We would actually like to have something ranged, but I guess it's fine. So many reliable slings. I have like a dozen of them now and good daggers as well. It just don't need it though. So you, even though you get a lot of loot, this more Mauler, what? Oh. Okay. Uh, let me drink this. Uh, panicking. Oh, fire. Didn't expect a mini boss or whatever here. Fire! Ah, this poison. You always get... Well, at least... Uh, where is he? There. Headshot! Oh, fire. I mean, you just keep your distance, dude. And we... Oh, got him with a headshot! Hey, little mini boss. That was cool. Can drink another potion. Rushing necklace. Bunch of gold. We have 88 currently. Okay, energy armor 1, cast speed plus 12%. Which we have this thing, right? Damage necklace, energy armor 0 0.25. So, this cost 12% faster. Yeah, that's actually noticeable. That's cool. That was nice loot. And surprise encounter. Lost ring. Oh, you guys are invisible, though. Told you there's invisible enemies here, guys. Even though I expected some gobloins. Uh, God. Yep, always go with the rock through. You can wield the ancient fire magic, or you guys, you, you you just throw a rock, right? Lost loot. Oh, is that from the guy? I don't even know anymore. Right, let's advance a little further ahead. Oh, so I actually made it to floor three, got attacked by two invisible mages, but I think, and I only noticed that we can do it now, let's actually go back. Hold E to leave. Because we probably want to spend all our cool resources for the quest right now to get stronger before we die, right? Quests? No, I don't... I'm looking for quests. I want to fulfill this place. Why do I need to click it thrice? Thrice? Did you find... Yes. The losers. Wait, what? Much obliged, Ivan. This ring will remind me of my son. One and fame as well. New quest? Disrespect? Well then, could you claim help the poor old man more time? Your clan, sorry. Bandits completely... Um, also, the writing with, like, shit and piss. I don't know. That's not my style, at least. But sure. So we have this now, where, where I could spend gold again. Be uh, better roster one. Allows picking more experienced adventures up to two to three levels. Better start equipment as well. Required legacy loot one, floor three access. Oh, this guy. I kind of like this, that there's also from the other clans, like people running in, for example. White capacity... Collect coins. We have weight capacity? Oh, there, yeah. 76 out of 135. 
Let's get this, maybe. I mean, I guess just when we... Probably all the upgrades are possible, right? Oh, we can't actually jump over this fence. Are you kidding me? You're not cool. Alright, so we did that quest. Complete this quest with Rex. Also, she bandages. More XP, more fame. Family clan is still level 1. You need a lot for that. I'm surprised. You have all of those things now. And I guess I would now sell all my junk, so to speak. For gold, right? I mean, do I need any of those? Fire cold token. Also junk. I don't think so. Maybe bandages. Consumable only for low HP and bleedings. Healing 6 HP for 10 seconds. Usage threshold 5 HP. So 25% bleedings minus 6. 6, sorry. So if you have like a certain amount. It's not like a quick sell button. So, so I guess this is just the way. Right click like a madman. I mean, this gives us a bunch of loot. Uh, gold, not gonna lie. Actually, more than, you know, just finding it in the dungeon. Which is pretty decent. So we have these two, kind of cleared my inventory. One of 34 gold. I mean, the shop isn't really that impressive. Doesn't seem like I can upgrade the shop either. So, where do I spend my money now? Not here, you, skill upgrades. Do we want to reset the class skills upgrades? No. Okay, this is where I could spend money, and you, you are just the librarian, we don't know what you can do. And there's also my st stash if I want to, um, well, stash anything here for a potential, if I know there's a dangerous boss coming up and I might lose most of my equipment that we have something, you know, for the run up to the boss or something for the next run if we die or something. All right, Arch Towers, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I was able to showcase what this game is about. Uh, yeah, frankly, it's engaging. So th thumbs up on that front. It's just like we have the bare bones of a story hook. Actually, I like the presentation though, um, regardless, cause you know, people are running in here. I would just enjoy if this was a little bit more polished and fleshed out, especially the writing and the quests, but the core gameplay and what this, this is what it's mostly about, right? Running in, slaying monsters, um, trying to get as far in as possible, get out, get a little bit stronger, get back in again and rinse and repeat to beat as uh, so far. At least from what we've played here in these 50 minutes is definitely engaging. I like that you kind of have to play smart. You have to look at your environment. Enemies behave differently. There's a good amount of variety. Some shoot fire, others go invisible, uh, then others dash at you. Uh, some come from the ceiling and and so on and so on. And that's just in the first two floors, so to speak. We can kind of customize our three attacks or four, actually. We have the spell, we have the rock throw, we have the... Um, well, and then we have uh, two weapons usually that we can adjust how we want. We could also go double slings or double sticks or other weird combinations, right? Or one knuckle and one stick and so on. And looks like we can get two more skills later on as well. Definitely one on the R button. So there's going to be a bunch of variety. So it's kind of cooldown management while you still have to be active dodging stuff. You can also dodge, for example, these flame waves from the fire mages by jumping over them. Then you can charge up your own spells in the meantime, even in the air stuff throw a bunch of rocks and so on so yeah the core combat gameplay and that's i think the most important part is definitely engaging so far um of course we only started depends on how interesting later encounters are and the room varieties and bosses but here in the demo that is definitely solid so yeah i would say a thumbs up from me but as always this is only my opinion please tell me what you think of the game please tell me what you think of my presentation thereof Stay awesome, and we see each other in the next video.